Good morning everybody. I do believe it's day 13 today. So we had a nice zero day yesterday in Fananaki. Stayed at the uh, campsite there. Really nice place to stay. Um, the cabin was only another four dollars a night so that was nice. Got treated to some wood-fired pizzas yesterday uh, which was really nice. We ate like kings uh, all day yesterday. Picked up some proper food from the little shop there and had some makeshift burgers for lunch and yeah it was really nice. And this morning we are heading to Nangaru, um, currently on the Fananaki coastal track or walkway which is beautiful. But I have to say my calves are suffering this morning. They are very very tight. I didn't do any stretching yesterday which was a bit silly and I didn't do any this morning either. So I'm a bit slow today. Julia's powering ahead but uh, yeah a nice morning so far. You can tell it's going to be a hot day but we will just power on. Some of the uh, nicer public toilets so far along route at Woolies Bay. Got about three kilometres left to Matapori. Today has been just so beautiful so far. We, uh, we've almost hit the halfway mark for today. I think. Uh, be honest the second half is going to take us a little longer than the first but um, we're about to head into the Matapori forest and uh, gonna stop for some lunch first but yeah it's just been so beautiful a little on the hot side <laughs> but uh, you can't complain about the sunshine I suppose Now doesn't that just look like something you'd see in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? And that is the end of the Matapori bush track.
Okay, so this is our camp for the night. This is the Nico Bay Camp and Cabins. Proprietor James, who brings you across that estuary and lets you put your tent up for $25 a night. Let's take a little tour. So just so you know, this is the result of uh, somebody who obviously has a lot of passion for what he does. Let's go this way first. So these are the showers and I'll just show you one of them. Big shower head, hot and cold water, somewhere to change and obviously a nice wooden floor to drain away. You even get your very own tree. And then through here, I'm giving the tour. Okay. This is the kitchen area, big table, somewhere nice to sit, dartboard over in the corner, this great map that shows us where we're going and the different river crossings and things, it's fantastic. Little kitchen area here, even some recycling. So this is good, lots of places to sit. Say hi Julia. Hi. <laughs> Uh, in this block here, I think there are some beds. Um, so Jordan and Troy are staying in there tonight. And then up here are our toilet facilities, which are unfortunately for me composting toilets. But lovely little building here. We're right on the pathway, as you can see little place to wash your hands and clean yourself up. Very strict instructions. And this is the toilet. So, even for somebody like me, who doesn't like to use composting loose, it's uh, pretty nice. So, it's been an okay day today actually, uh, the trail wasn't too too bad today, I think we ended up doing 26 kilometres today, um, which felt alright, that was really nice. A um, couple of forests to go through and there were some hills to go up and my calves were so tight today, I think because um, we had a zero day yesterday and I didn't do any stretching, so that'll serve me right. Um, but yeah, it was relatively easy walking and I think we managed to get to Nangaru here at about, um, what would it have been, 3.30, 4 o'clock? No, I think about 3.30. So yeah, about seven hours of walking or so. A little bit of road walking, which was annoying, but it uh, wasn't too, too bad. And now we are at this beautiful place tonight. Um, you know, James has just gone to so much effort here and it really shows. Well, we've stayed at some lovely places so far, but but this really takes the biscuit. It really does. So, beautiful outlook. I'm sure it's going to be a lovely night. And tomorrow we get to um, cross a couple of rivers. Maybe one, maybe two, we'll see. But uh, mine and Julia's plans are to go to Tidesong tomorrow, uh, which is about 16 or 18 kilometers down the road. So we won't have to cross the second river yet, but uh, yeah, just looking forward to a really good night here. We've got some fresh veggies, fresh resupply from the Nangaru store, which is a little small, but it may do. So yeah, we're going to go and have a really nice, really nice evening. Yeah, because a lot of it's probably been produced in Bali. Yeah, filmed it. Yeah. Edited, edited it back in the States. Yeah. I was yeah. in the film industry years ago, and I used to work for um, Pacific Renaissance. classic example of two signs telling you to go different ways. Good morning everybody. It is day 14 and uh, it is a Sunday and the weather is beautiful and I have a feeling today is the day that I get left behind <laughs> because my pace is still very very slow. I'm just uh, struggling a lot with my calves in the morning and I'm because of our early starts, which I like, 
I'm not getting an awful lot of time to stretch every morning so most of the time I'm sort of not stretching which isn't a good thing but yeah I can only do what I can do so we have a relatively short day today about 16 kilometers through to Tidesong uh, and we will be doing one river or estuary crossing today across the Hora Hora um, leaving us another one for tomorrow and it's nice to have uh, John back with us even though he is steaming ahead at the moment we're hoping that Hayley will catch us tonight and it will be nice to see her again so for the last couple of mornings it's taken a little while for me to get going every day my calf muscles are so tight and yeah it's been a real real struggle I'm alright after about an hour or two but the first couple of hours I just seem to drag behind everybody and uh, this morning I'm lagging a little bit Julia's a little way up ahead and John stopped to put some sunblock on but he'll be catching me anytime now but it's getting me down a little bit this morning I want to be faster but at the same time I can only do what I can do and you know it's very difficult to walk when your calf muscles are literally burning and uh, you've got no blood flow to one of your legs because your calf muscles are burning and the terrain is steep and I think I've twisted something in my knee again we've only been on the go for about half an hour uh, and there's a big hill coming up so <laughs> it's going to be a short day but I think it's going to be one of those days Here's the hill we're going up very shortly. This is hard to walk in. That is cold. I am literally waist deep in water right now. Look! Oh, those guys are coming. Just gotta get over. Oh, yeah. Finally made it through to Patoa North. It's about another three kilometers from here to Tidesong. Watch out for the kayak. Oh, he's in. Just skipping past the Taihururu estuary because uh, it's only possible at low tide and it is well and truly no longer low tide. So we are doing the road walk to Taizong. Should be there in about an hour. Good morning everybody, it is day 15 and today is my birthday. I'm not too worried about that but what it does mean is that I uh, 
have achieved one of my goals that I wanted to achieve on this hike, which is to wake up on trail on my birthday. Uh, wasn't in a tent like I was sort of envisioning. We stayed at a cabin at Tide Song last night. Um, so Tide Song is uh, just on the Taihururu estuary, uh, about a day away from Whangarei Heads. Um, beautiful little place, Hugh and Roz there, just amazing, amazing people. We turned up there and got a cup of tea and some scones with jam and cream and some biscuits and it was all good. So there were three of us cramped into the cabin last night but uh, it all worked alright. Um, Hayley caught us up, Joe from the States also caught us up. I met him for the first time in Kaitaia. He was making his own wraps in the kitchen in the hostel, so that's where I know Joe from. But started off today with a big climb over Cody Mountain. Uh, I suppose it's not actually a big climb when you consider what we've got coming up today. Today we are going over Bream Head, which, you know, I'm not all that fussed about on my birthday, but uh, what's a 470 metre climb? It's nothing. So Cody Mountain was a good warm up for Breamhead later on today and uh, we also do have to walk down Ocean Beach today um, so that'll be good. First day back on the beach since 90 mile and the weather is supposed to be quite heavy rain today at some point but so far so good this morning so maybe it will hold off until a little bit later in the day. So I'm just going to keep hiking and I'm going to try and enjoy today because what better way to spend your 31st birthday and by walking on the Te Araroa Trail. This is so hard. This climb up to the top of Bream Head is so hard. And I'm like lucky if I can get 50 meters before I have to collapse because I just have nothing left. But I have to just keep going. really don't want to but I have to just keep going <sighs> so only for the second time in two weeks First being when I set off from the Cape, I am completely and utterly alone. Everyone else has gone on ahead as my pace has slowed to an absolute crawl. Oh, this is so hard. I've been in tears three times. I've just got nothing left in the tank at the moment. But I have to get up there. Just have to get up there. So just trying to muster whatever energy I do have left.
is at the top. Well, it's been an interesting birthday. Um, there's been a lot of climbing today, a lot of hills, a lot of steep steps down, some crying. <laughs> Not too much food actually. I didn't have breakfast this morning before I set out, so uh, I've basically been surviving on Snickers bars and uh, some M&Ms that Julia packed out today for me for my birthday. And here uh, yeah, now we're just coming down out of the clouds. This um, Tifada track over Breen Head is uh, again one of the more difficult tracks I've ever hiked a lot of steep hills to go up and it's not very well formed and there are tree roots all over the place and it's quite slippery and thankfully the forecast rain has held off today otherwise that would have made this just an impossible day by the time we get to our cabin for tonight um we're gonna have been on the go for i reckon 10 or 11 hours so it's been a long long day but the only alternative would have been to be sitting at a desk all day, so this has got to be better than that. But we're still a little way up, still got a little bit of down to go at the moment, so just got to keep pushing on. So a few years ago I came up here on holiday and we walked out on this track here, went around this headland and all the way back around over here to a beach and came back over across this way kind of surreal to be back here but be walking a lot lot further <laughs> 